Now that we've learned a little bit about what you can do with strings and numbers, let's try a few exercises that you can work on on your own. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is create a new spreadsheet and enter the script editor. So we're going to just create some functions here. Uh, we will create a first function. We'll call it first five. What this function should do is take one parameter that is a string. Uh, and what it should do with that parameter is return the first five characters of the string. So there are a couple of ways to do that. Think about how you might accomplish that and try it out on your own. The second function you should create is one called find string, uh, find str. This function should take two parameters. Both should be strings. It should return and what it, the work it should do is return the first position in the first string where the second string is found. So think about the functions that we learned about, the methods that we learned about, and how you might do that third function is called random int. You should take one parameter that is a number and it should return an integer that is between 0 and the parameter. So if you think back to one of our videos, we actually tried this out. We did something like this. See if you can figure out how to create just a random integer. The last function that you should create is one called round positive. This should take one parameter that is a number and it should just round it and then return the absolute value of the rounded value. Uh, so try this one out. You might have to use multiple. You might have to use multiple functions or multiple methods from the math, uh, the math tool that we looked at in our last few videos. Uh, but try these out. You know, go ahead and test them out. See if you can get them to work. You know, try them out in your spreadsheet. Uh, see if they do what you hope that they'll do. Uh, but for now, you know, go ahead and, and see what you can see if you can figure these out. See if you can try these on your own, and uh, we'll we'll try some new activities in our next set of videos. Thanks for watching.